104.5, the team you're home for New York sports. Last night, game one of the Stanley Cup Finals, Pittsburgh Penguins take down the San Jose Sharks 3-2. Joining us is the man that knows all of hockey for ESPN, Mr. Barry Melrose. Barry, game one, Penguins grab a, a win 3-2. Uh, what was the biggest reason why Pittsburgh was able to take down San Jose? Uh, first period, Pittsburgh came out. Uh, played an unbelievable first period. Uh, the speed really caught San Jose by surprise. Uh, you could tell San Jose had never played a team that fast before. And uh, by the time they did get out of the period, the regroup it was 2 nothing. And uh, San Jose spends the rest of the night catching up. They, they did make it a tie game 2-2. And then the Nino scored late in the game to win it for Pittsburgh. But, um, you know, I think that was the wake-up call for uh, San Jose that they saw something they hadn't seen before. And that's a, a team that can flat out fly. So, I think it'll be a different story in Game Two. I don't think Pittsburgh's going to catch San Jose, or uh, San Jose is going to be caught by, by surprise from Pittsburgh. And uh, I, I certainly don't think it'll be a two nothing lead for Pittsburgh right out of the gate. But uh, Pittsburgh played a heck of a game. It looked very, very good in Game One. Uh, Barry, how does the uh, Penguin team compare to the Penguin team that won the Cup in two thousand nine? Well, really different. Uh, I think if you look at the team in two thousand nine, Sydney and Malkin were. Among the league leaders in points in the playoffs, uh, they were the guys that had to score for Pittsburgh to win, and they usually did. Uh, if you look at the team now, uh, Benino's line scores last night. That's probably been their most consistent line all playoffs long. Uh, Crosby doesn't score. Malkin doesn't score. And yet they still win game one of the Stanley Cup Finals. So much more of a team now, better defensively, uh, uh, better defense overall. Uh, they don't have a gonchar on it anymore, but they, they really uh, – play a hard no style. Latang is their offensive guy. He set up the winning goal last night. But it, it's not you know, paramount that Crosby and Mall can score anymore because of the depth they have offensively. Barry, when you look at this team, this Pittsburgh team with a rookie goalie like Matt Murray, how is this kid, you know, first year getting everything done the way he's getting it done? Uh, just ice water in his veins. Nothing bothers the guy. Uh, you know, he was only playing at the start of the year because Flurry got hurt. And then if Flurry got back, he was supposed to be out, and the kid just kept playing well and playing well. And finally, he stumbled a bit, and they pulled him out, and they were going to put Flurry in, and Flurry didn't get the job done. So Murray comes back, and he's won three games since then. And uh, he just uh, he just makes the saves he should make. He's uh, not diving around. He's very quiet and net. Uh, makes saves look easy. He's a big guy, you know, prototypical today's NHL, NHL goalie, six four, moves like a cat. But mentally, you know, he's tough as nails because. Uh, Nothing bothers the guy. A loss doesn't bother him, or uh, getting pulled doesn't bother him, or starting another goaltender doesn't bother him. He's just ready to play whenever Pittsburgh needs him. The Sharks, Barry, the franchise itself, has so many heartbreaks in seasons past. What has this team been able to do different to get over that hump? Uh, I think just, uh, I think the Pavelski, uh, giving Pavelski a C has made a difference. It's sort of uh, taking the pressure off Joe Thornton. Joe just likes to play, and and he's playing great. Uh, you know, they've made a couple good trades. Obviously, Martin Jones, the net, has played very, very well. Uh, Brent Burns has had a fantastic year and a fantastic playoff. Uh, and, and everybody's flying. Uh, Pete DeBoers has come in. He's done a great job. Tweaked a few things here and there. Uh, got great power play. San Jose's power play is fantastic. It seems like it scores at least one goal every game, two goals most games. But I, I think just all those things combined... Uh, and the fact that they've been a very, very talented team for a number of years. Pete um, DeBurst come in, pushed all the right buttons, and now they're in the Stanley Cup Finals. Barry Melrose with us here right here on 104.5. The team, LeVac and Wolf with you. Barry, you said you didn't think this was going to be a 2 nothing lead for the Penguins. What do the Sharks need to do to make, even up this series? Well, come out and skate with the, uh, with the Penguins. Uh, better puck control. Uh, they didn't handle the puck well, uh, San Jose. With Thompson off their sticks, I don't know if they were nervous uh, by the fact that this was their first uh, Stanley Cup final game or whatever, but uh, they did not look like the Sharks team that we've seen for the last three rounds. But a lot of that had to do with Pittsburgh. But, uh, you know, control the puck. If you got the puck, Pittsburgh's not flying around the ice using their speed. Uh, you know, uh, get your power play going when they take a penalty on you. Burn them. Uh, and just, uh, you know, play the... Play the whole game like you did the second and third periods. I, I think they'll like that. I, I think there's going to be a long series, and I'll be very surprised if uh, the Sharks don't win game two and, and get to split and go home. Give us one name, Barry, either team, that'll be the difference in the series 
going forward? What do you think? Uh, well, I'll, I'll go with Kessel uh, for uh, or for uh, Pittsburgh. He's your leading scorer, and, and uh, uh, on the power play last night, he, he really made some things happen. So I'll take Kessel for Pittsburgh. And see, that's how different it is. You're not even picking Crosby and Malkin anymore. I'm picking <laughs> Kessel. And then the Sharks, I, I, I'd have to go with Pavelski. He's the guy that makes that team go. Uh, he didn't have a good game last night, and consequently, uh, the Sharks did not look the way they usually do. So Pavelski for the uh, Sharks, Kessel for the Penguins. Barry Melrose with us breaking down the Stanley Cup Finals. Barry, who wins this thing? Is it going to be? It sounds like you're kind of leaning Sharks. Yeah, I am. I I I thought they would win. I thought it was going to be a six game series. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes seven. These two teams are very evenly matched. Obviously, the Sharks have to win game two. You can't fall down two games to nothing in today's NHL. But uh, you know, I like I said, for, you know, for two periods they were as good as Pittsburgh. They just got hammered badly in the first period. And, they had a good pushback and, and uh, made some good adjustments. Barry Melrose right here on 104.5 The Team. Barry, uh, as a uh, suffering Rangers fan for the first time in a couple of years, um, what's got to happen in New York to see either one of those teams uh, represent this late in the season? Wow, uh, that's going to be a great question because they got salary cap issues. Uh, Yandel, they're going to let Yandel walk. They said that Girardi is going to be kept. They're not going to buy him out. Uh, obviously, they got to get some scores. Uh, you know, every year you're, you, you're not taking a run at the cup. You're wasting a year of, of Henrik Lundqvist's career. I, you know, he's, he's on the far side now. He's on the way down, not the way up. Uh, so you got to win now with him and next. But they got some tough decisions because the cap space and, and uh, uh, things like that. So it's going to be a very interesting summer for Ranger fans. Barry Melrose right here on 104.5 The Team, LeVac and Wolf. Uh, Barry, I, I, you know, I never wish for the hockey season to end because I know how much you love it, but I kind of wish for it to end because we're going to be up at the track every Friday. We'd love to uh, buy you a beverage. Well, I, uh, I usually make two or three trips to the track. I love it. It's the most beautiful place in the world uh, uh, in July during the season. So uh, I plan on being there, and uh, if I'm there on a weekend, I'll stop by and see you. Appreciate it, Barry. Have a great day. Enjoy that hockey. Thanks for making time for us. Thanks, Barry. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.